Welcome back uh, to my podcast, episode um, eight. Uh, and this episode is just going to be talking about this latest uh, interview between Sailor and uh, Levera uh, on first principles, on Bitcoin principles. Uh, I really don't want to pick apart the whole thing. I just want to talk about one little little uh, line from this uh, three-hour video. Uh, and then I'll talk a little bit about this KYC obstacle and VJ had a tweet and just kind of uh, give my thoughts on this. So it'll be a short video. So let's uh, let's first play this sailor uh, clip. Like Black Rock, I, I, we should them. We should welcome them. They will they will bring new levels of service. Right there, there's a bunch of people retirees that um, they've got one relationship, they'll pick up the phone, talk to the financial advisor and say, get me, get 5% of me into Bitcoin, or I want 1% of my assets to be Bitcoin. It'll be a 15 second phone call. It'll happen because there's hundreds of thousands or millions of financial advisors doing business with BlackRock and Fidelity and Franklin Templeton. Um, those people can't get it any other way. And so these financial service okay, providers so are part the, of the ecosystem. That's, the key, uh, that's so, the key moment. Now, let's just dissect that just a second. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, kind of move to my tweet here. Uh, so let's dissect that. What is Michael Saylor saying? He's saying that you've got these people um, and retirees, traditional investors, retail, traditional retail investors, uh, and they're going to be calling up their broker at uh, Fidelity, Fidelity, or uh, BlackRock. They're going to be saying, put 5% of my assets in Bitcoin. And that will be a, literally a 15-second phone call. Uh, they won't have to do any KYC. They won't have to do any wallet setup. They won't have to do any of this stuff. It'll be 15 seconds. Get me into Bitcoin, right? And they will. And you know what they're going to buy? They're going to buy the Bitcoin ETF because that's what they can buy, right? You know, maybe at some point they can actually custody the Bitcoin or something, but that's not happening right now. What's happening right now, what's happening in 2024, is they're going to be able to buy the Fidelity ETF or the BlackRock ETF. That's, that's what's going to happen, right, with those two names. Um, so there are literally 400,000 registered financial advisors in the United States alone. 400,000. The 400,000 people, the, their job is to tell other people what to do, and they advise those people, and they handle their money for them, and they make it so it's a 15-second phone call. Um, and I posted this thing yesterday, and I, I, I got quite a bit of response on this, on this uh, tweet. I just really want to point out that, you know, this is not, I'm not just saying this for engagement. This is, I've been fighting this battle uh, with the people around me for, for a while. In particular, my dad, uh, I got him, you know, in, in, into Bitcoin, you know, in retrospect, pretty early. Um, and uh, this was his first email. So first of all, he said, Fred, how, how do you want, how should I get my Bitcoin? I said, why don't you just go through a non-custodial wallet and use MoonPay, right? So he, he said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some MoonPay, I'm gonna try some stuff. And he said, oh, I just tried to buy it. Uh, so he has to, he has to, obviously link it to his bank account to buy it. And he goes, I just tried to buy Bitcoin. Uh, after trial deposits went through, I tried to purchase with a debit card and this failed because of suspicious activity. Next, I tried HSBC, but in this case, the debit card didn't appear to be accepted. Then I tried Schwab Bank. After trial deposits went through, the purchase was not completed due to suspicious activity. Um, so, yeah, this is my dad, you know, uh, elderly gentleman, very, very smart guy. And, you know, he, he cannot, for the life of him, work through how to send money from his bank to buy Bitcoin on this uh, MoonPay. Here's the second email, uh, the second one that I found. Um, oh, I think I have linked Coinbase to my bank, but I'm unable to provide my identity to Coinbase. I've now spent three hours over the phone taking pictures of my driver's license with my phone or my webcam. I never succeed. I am completely frustrated. Do you have any suggestions? Should I try a different wallet? And if so, which one? 
It is utterly horrific what one has to do to even buy crypto. Now, this is not in 2015. This is not in 2016. Uh, and my father doesn't live in Argentina or Turkey. He lives in New York. And <laughs> this is his experience. So uh, it is absolutely remarkable that, um, that we're going through this. And, you know, it's not just a matter of, oh, just do a simple KYC. People cannot get through this KYC. Uh, in many cases, in many cases, it's, it's, it's the, the KYC providers are, are too janky. The, the, the process of like uploading your, your, the video, your selfie with themselves, it's just, it's completely foreign to most people. Um, now, VJ makes a very good point uh, about this, VJ Boyapati. If you haven't read his, uh, his, his book, you should, you should definitely pick it up. It's great. Um, so, VJ, a short thread on why Bitcoin ETF is hugely important to unlocking traditional savings. Top t too long, don't read. It removes the point of KYC AML. Okay, so what is that? What is his point? His point is very simple. You know, we all have gone through this KYC AML when we set up our you know, when we first got a driver's license, you know, we had to show some birth certificate and all this stuff, right? Uh, passport, you know. When we first set up our first bank account, we did it, right? When we set up our first brokerage account, right? Um, uh, we, we had to do that. And at that point, we knew exactly what we were getting. We were getting a bank account or with a debit card. Wow, that's great. I'm going to go through this work to get a bank account with a, a debit card. Or I'm going to be able to trade stocks. Well, I'll, I'll go through some effort to trade stocks. Um, you know, or I need a driver's license because I need a car. <laughs> so again, these are, you know, the, the, the payout is, is fairly big. So you go through the problem. Now you say you can buy all these things in your Schwab account or your E-Trade account. But if you want to buy Bitcoin, you're going to have to, that particular one, you're going to have to go to this completely separate ecosystem and you're going to have to do KYC and you may get stuck like my father for three hours or and actually, in this case, it's more like 15 days uh, before he actually was able to get his Bitcoin. Um, you know, you're just not going to you're not going to do it. You're going to give up and you're going to say this is too complicated. I'm going to wait for them to figure this thing out and make it simpler. Now, you know, I just cannot stress enough that Bitcoiners have been in the they've been in this world too long and they forget they forget that normal people don't really understand and they're pushing stuff like this now let's just look at this video and you can ask me just ask yourself is a normal person like my dad going to relate to this person yeah. do you have a hardware wallet that's great you're doing self-custody of your bitcoin fabulous where's your 24 word seed phrase Where's okay. your backup? So because if you lose these guys, break them. You can them imagine stolen, my uh, or they my just father. malfunction. <laughs> you can my father to do doing it with this. a Phillips so screwdriver. I sure a hammer. Imagine my and just trying to see if I could just use like a, a screwdriver plate. and just hit it with, with a hammer. hammer and see if it would work. I just can't. Like, a, nor can I imagine anybody else banging a hammer, hammer with this. Unless they're serious like me, right? Okay, so, we're going to try to make a little dent in this seat plate with uh, the regular so that's, drill. That's that. See. Now, here's another guy who's great, actually. Wicked smart Bitcoin. Uh, you know, if, if you're technical like me, I would recommend following Wicked Smart Bitcoin. He's great. Uh, and here is, he's talking about multi-state. And again, let's just watch a little bit and sort of try to relate. Will my father be doing this multi-state using Sparrow Wallet? Hmm, let's see. Test let's see. Is an additional... I'm going to give you a little note here. It's saying, you know, only to use it if you're a developer, but hmm. for this okay. purposes, I'm showing you how to use it. He's using so, his cold card. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow, That's fantastic. Now this, this this video is one hour wow. and two minutes long. Yeah, so I can, is configured yeah it's just it just keeps on going on. Can start. Yeah. Uh, it, this is this is yeah, not. You know, and just, then they also have it. You know, this is this is not how you buy stuff. This is not how you transact. 
Okay. Yeah, it's it may be if you're like me, if you have a lot of money that's, you know, okay. if you're deeply technical uh, and you really understand this stuff, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, yeah. If you're like you, yeah. I'm assuming some of you guys are, are, are yeah. point pointers and full card users. All the same information we just saw on the And multi sig users yeah. like myself, but yeah. you know, like, I, this is not the way. Um, most people. <laughs> this is only a tiny fraction is going to do this stuff. Um, so, you know, what you want, and I'm going to share a funny clip here. Um, just this, this is how easy you got to make this. And I'm not suggesting, I'm not suggesting here that, uh, that I'm condemning or condoning, sorry. Uh, boiler rooms, but it's got to be this easy, guys. I can't walk you through this right now. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, let's do this. <laughs> now, I can't go higher than, than I cannot go any higher than 20 Bitcoin shares. I'm sorry. 2,000? Are you nuts? That is way beyond what I was thinking. Jesus. Anyways, <laughs> so you get the you get the idea here. Um, so that's that's really it. That's really what I wanted to, to focus on. Um, I'm not going to talk about the ETF again. I'm, I'm just so obsessed with it. But look, we, we, everybody's been saying this now for forever, which is we got to make it really easy. But you know, is it is people can say oh. Lightning is great, but you got to get your Bitcoin in the first place, right? And, you know, if you have to go through these KYC hurdles to do it, you're going to need some real reason to go through these hurdles. It's just, that's just what you're going to have to do. So, you know, I think the ETF, even though it's completely unrelated to the custody of Bitcoin, you know, self-custody, it's going to get you there. So if you own you know, a couple thousand bucks of the ETF and you see it go up, you're going to kind of get more interested maybe in maybe getting a hardware wallet or a mobile wallet that holds Bitcoin and, and doing your own custody. So it's a process. The first thing you have to do is actually have some value at stake. If you have, you know, no value at stake and you, uh, you know, it's just pennies, you're not, it doesn't, it doesn't give you the conviction to really enter the system. So I'm really, really bullish on this ETF. I think this is going to be, it's going to open the doors for, for, for 99% of the people that I know in my world to buy Bitcoin. Um, and, uh, and that's it. See you later.